Hey guys, what is up? Today I am going to explain to you one of uh, the techniques that I use when playing double bass, mostly fast double bass, and that's uh, uh, the technique using double strokes, uh, which in my opinion there is a combination between uh, heel tilt and tilt down and I'm going to explain to you why uh, if we take a look at the heel tilt technique we know that we have to you know put our feet on the pedal board and the first stroke comes uh, from the heel like this second stroke comes with the foot or the ball of your foot and it will be like this so again heel toe heel toe heel toe heel toe uh, as far as this technique I really don't use it I never mastered it or focus on it because I noticed that you have to uh, put a lot of effort, uh, especially when you're dropping your your heel to get the first stroke. Uh, and I also saw some drummers get injured, so I really didn't pay attention to that and uh, try. I, I tried to find another way to apply the double strokes, and then I got into the toe down technique which is also a technique that I've seen a lot of drummers use uh, when playing fast double bass and eventually everyone has mastered the technique at their own convenience but the way that I apply them or use them and I get both strokes with good volume uh, in comparison with heel toe even though you get a good volume when you're doing it like slowly uh, when you're you know going faster and faster you lose that volume and eventually that's also why we trigger the bass drum so the notes are heard even at faster tempos uh, so the way that I apply both strokes on the pad or on the bass drum is that I have this position where I add some pressure uh, to the pedal and I um, you know like put it down in this position and this will be my starting point my heels are up in the air and my toes are making contact with the pedal board so since this is my starting point to get the first stroke, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to lift my leg and I'm going to let the beater come back and as it comes back with the same ball of my foot, I'm going to get the first stroke. So the, most, the first stroke will be uh, this one. That's pretty much the motion. You have your heels uh, in the ground once you hit the first stroke. Uh, so you can get ready for the second stroke, but to get the first one, again, is this motion. You press down on the pedal, you create that tension in your leg, you make a little bit of a contact with the beater on the head, and then you lift your leg and then as, it, uh, as the beater comes back, you push down with the ball of your foot, not your complete foot, just the ball of your foot. Again, this is the motion. Okay, so with that being said, my heels come back in the ground 
and my toes are still making contact with the pedal, but I have like this space here where I am ready to hit the second stroke, and it's a heel down motion, which is this one. So now you can see that I am back in the same position that I was before, and that's my starting point again. So both strokes again will look like this. First stroke, second stroke. First stroke, second stroke. First stroke, second stroke. And then eventually it becomes like a rocking motion. And that's pretty much it. That's the motion itself. So, same thing applies for the left foot. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, my left foot is not as strong as the right one as you can probably notice and I didn't warm up that well to you know go through this video so I just wanted to you know make it quick enough to answer you know your, some questions. So, if we go ahead and we combine both feet, it would look and sound like this. That's what it looks like and sounds like. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's not much into it. You just really have to practice, sit down, uh, use a metronome, uh, also put some, some time frame on it. Like if you are going to work on those strokes for, uh, let's say, five minutes at 200 uh, beats per minute, you know, set up that time frame so that way you can. Uh, have your mindset and achieve that uh, that specific run as you know fluent as you can another thing I want to talk about is uh, the pedal settings uh, I have both springs maxed out uh, these are the uh, Axis XL2's uh, medium duty springs. They're not like the heavy duty uh, springs that you uh, find on the uh, A longboard series. Um, pedal board, it's 
a little bit, you know, higher than normal. And the beater distance between the head and the beater itself, it's, I think, uh, probably 45, maybe 50 degrees. I, I really haven't measured it, so excuse me if I don't give you the right or specific uh, measures there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't have the variable drive lever, so for you guys that have Axis A longboards, uh, I've seen people normally uh, setting them in the middle position, which works great. It's not too heavy or too um, or, or or too loose. If you guys have any more questions or have any other concerns about the technique, uh, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos uh, on double bass uh, techniques. Uh, the next one will be about uh, single strokes using uh, ankles and also the ankle motion. Uh, which is useful at high speeds as well and once I record that video I'll be uh, sharing it with you guys and you know hopefully everyone gets something gets something out of this video or the upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time cheers